Why do you think there's so much gun crime here in Philly? <laughs> I don't know. Why are you telling that? Because they, they violating our rights. That's the top. They violating all our rights. And they want to just stop. You can't walk down the street without getting thrown up against the wall for nothing. The officer here was telling me, uh, Officer Hamilton was saying he he uh, booked you two weeks ago for uh, possession with intent to, to distribute. Is that right? Drugs. Drugs. I don't. I don't... We don't have to. We don't have to go into that. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about now. Come on, man. Can, will you shake my hand seriously? No, I don't shake. We don't shake hands. Why? This is not a friendly town. Why it's don't you shake hands? City. This is Philadelphia. Man. Last year they was known as Kill Adelphia. Why is there so much crime and gun violence here? Oh my God. I don't, I don't even know for real. I couldn't even tell you. Would you tell me if you if you did know? No. Why not? You're not supposed to do that. You're violating code number one, babe. No Never snitching. snitching. Never, Never snitch. snitch. If you had information about a homicide, someone getting killed, would you go to the police and help them? Why would I? To help. You think if somebody killed me, somebody gonna go to the police and say, oh, I know who killed... If I knew, I would? No, not that's you. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Mm -mm. You never know how long you're gonna live after you do that. If someone snitched on one of, on, on you or one of your friends, what would you do? No what type of question is that? No, no comment. comment. No comment. Do you know friends who've been shot out here? Yeah. yeah. Everybody got friends that's been shot out here. Yeah. Excuse me. If you, everyone knows friends. When is y'all leaving? Leaving Philadelphia? No, no leaving this corner. This How do you mean? Like getting off this block. In about two minutes. Oh, all right. You want us to leave? Cops. Young lad, y'all here. <laughs> he got hit. You got shot. He got hit. He got hit up in his neck and everything. You got hit. You got hit with a bullet. A bullet? No, right. Two see? times in his arm. Can we see? Two times. Do you think the cops are still looking for the person who shot him? I don't know. Are they? Are they looking for him? You tell me. Yeah, I would think so. That's you, just said, you just said nobody would say who shot him. So who do you look for? Who shot him? So then you also complain that people get stopped for no reason, quote unquote, right? But in order to find out who did something, how else are you going to find out but stop him if nobody's talking about who might have done it? Do you know who it was? No. Would you say if you did? No. Why? Because uh, there's no snitching. Why? You wouldn't say, even if you knew? No. Why? This what he don't he shot you in the back of the neck. The guy was trying to kill you. You don't want to see him locked up? I ashes wouldn't tell. Ashes, does, it's not say, he's not saying I want to see him locked up. He just ain't going to snitch. He's not going to point a finger at somebody. I personally can't see myself saying, yeah, that's him right there. No, I can't do nah. that. Why? No. It's not in my blood. <laughs> see you guys. How typical were those guys on the corner? Uh, they're about as typical as it gets. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, that's uh, you know, textbook Philly corner mentality. I mean, that's, that's what you're going to find anywhere. Of corner boys, like real low-level drug dealers? Absolutely. It's cool to be like that. And, uh, you know, whether they really believe it or not, especially if they're in front of their peers, they just have to act that way, you know? And I, I know, I know there's at least a good percentage of them that don't necessarily feel that way deep down, but they got to put on that facade to not look like, you know, not look like a punk in front of their boys.